<clears throat> well, howdy there. You're nice and close and personal tonight. Getting a nice little view of me. Don't get no ideas. Okay. <laughs> I already have my ideas. <laughs> I just wanted to come on because I had to kind of do my makeup or um in like really quick tonight because I did a spur of the moment and decided to go out and do a little cover for everybody. So I literally like did a 10 minute makeup thing, which was easy with the makeups I had. So I wanted to share them with you because that's what I do. I share. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Well, I share my ideas of what I got and what I like so that other people get ideas too because I get ideas from other people. So, but here's my face. You can see every like thing about it. I know, don't be scary. Don't be scared. It's actually pretty nice. And like, it even looks nice like in person. Like, at first, I thought maybe it was too drying, but so I look at I looked in our car, like in the mirror this morning, this evening. I was like, "Man, it looks really good," and it's been a while, so I've had it on for a couple hours now. So, um, yeah, I'm not surprised if it doesn't like glass because I didn't really even use a primer tonight, um, which I usually do. And this has been my favorite one lately. It's by Dr. Brandt. And it's the Pore, Pore, Refine, Pore Refiner Primer. And it's just like that. I don't know if it has a color. It's kind of like just your natural skin tone color. So, yeah. That's the one I usually, I've been using that I like. Because it's really, it's, it's Dr. Brandt's pretty good. And um, I like that company. And tonight, instead of that, I just put a moisturizer on. This was my a cream that I got um, with my Sephora um, package today because we got our body wash in, which is really a nice body wash, by the way. Isaac even likes it. And it's um, planet-friendly and people-friendly. So, people. yeah. It's good for people and it's good, you know, for your skin and it's good for the planet. So I thought it was kind of cute. It's the Ren one um, that has magnesium and stuff like that in it. So it's really pure and has energizing properties in there. So, but that's a lot better than that body spar that we were using. Like that's too drying for me. So I didn't, I'm not using that anymore. But this is the... Maybe once a, a yeah. um yeah if I want to like do a like exfoliate but not for any moisture that's for sure but um yeah they're drying and I have dry skin people <laughs> but this is the day cream I use is from Ren um Ren Clean Skin Care. Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. It's very nice. Got a really nice scent. Mm -hmm. And it's apparently, yeah, it's good for the environment too. It's nice that a lot more companies are becoming like eco-friendly and everything. It's really nice. <laughs> and... When I all I did tonight because I was really wanting to get going. I didn't. I wanted to beat the sunset, so I looked on my on our on the cell and saw that it was gonna set at eight fourteen. Luckily, that was wrong because it set actually a little bit after. I still had some daylight, but um, yeah, I was like, oh shoot, I literally like have only a few minutes, so I had to really get kind of booking it. So all I used. When I did my skincare, was very few things. I did my um my little moisturizer, and I had done my um oh shoot, I forgot one little product. I forgot one thing. I'll be right back.
Careful, Lisa. Okay. Um, but yeah, I did my moisturizer, and then I um. What else did I do? Oh, then I just went in straight with the foundation that I just got, and this is the foundation. It is a new one by that got by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the little sample that bottle they give you because I used a code at Sephora checkout <laughs> when we were doing our body wash. I was like, you know what? I'll just get this because if you spend at least $25, you could add this code to your thing. And I'm Sephora Rouge, so they give this for Rouge and I think the one below Rouge got... VIB. VIB, yeah. Got to have this as a sample. And it's the, it's the new one she just did. It's so beautiful, too. It's Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And this is in... I went light because I realize I'm really lighter skin. I'm actually 3 Cool. And it it is really such a beautiful shade. It matches me perfectly. And, yeah. It's on the, the cell, but even on regular, it's so pretty. Like, it is a really good color, too. Yeah, I'm liking it. Shoot. Yeah. I think it also helped when I did my MAC Fix Plus, which I tell you at the end. But I'm thinking of actually getting the main one, the big, like, bottle. Because, yeah, it was so pretty. Like, I was going to get the darker one because I have another one of hers that's a little darker, but... I was like, you know what, that one's kind of dark on me. So I didn't really, though, think that I would match this because I thought it would be too light. I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, that is such a beautiful product. Like, I'm so glad that I watched some reviews and actually decided to be like, you know. Because sometimes, like, the Sephora samples are kind of, like, really teeny. Or they're those little, you know, they're like little paper things you just open the thing up and then you can take the foundation out and you can use it but that is actually a legit sample you can put it out in your hand and I just did a couple pumps and then I was able to get my full face and it's so gorgeous it is is really gorgeous like at first it did seem a little I'm not gonna lie like it seemed dry like I was like oh my goodness because I was worried that it was gonna be too dry for my skin because I do mostly have dry skin I know I get acne, but like I said, that's just on my chin, and it's just hormonal. But normally, I'm dry. So, I wasn't sure. But it worked, people. It really worked. And I used my my little beauty blender to do that with. So, that was really good for that. Um, then what I did is I didn't use any eye primer today. I just wanted to go straight at it, and I didn't care if it came off my eyes or not. Um, I did line them, though, first. I used my... All May Eyeliner Crayon um, in, this is 21 Brown Topaz. Yeah, Brown Topaz. It's just a brown, pretty brown. I eyelined my top and my bottom lid, or eye, eye area. And then I also did my mascara, because I usually do that next. Um, I used my Sephora eye curling wand and yeah I'm gonna need a new one eventually because this is getting old but I might get it the Shiseido one try that one once um and I used my new mascara that I got from L'Oreal I think yep L'Oreal Paris unlimited mascara is really nice and I heard that is good for people with smaller eyes and it actually does bend with you and it does not clump and it helps them lengthen so it's very beautiful just leave it wherever you have to honey I'm not done yet and then after that you can pray it and eat honey and then I also um, like to prime my lips so I use my La Mer lip balm 
which is a very beautiful product. And I also used my Elizabeth Arden, um, no, Anastasia Beverly Hills <coughs> Clear Eyebrow Gel on my eyebrows. I also used my Healthy Balm, Healthy Glow Lip Balm that was recommended by Toddy. Thank you, Toddy. And for my blush, oh, well, for my eyes first, I, I used this palette again, the Revolution, Makeup Revolution London, Soph X, um, Extra Spice, 18 Ultra, 18 Ultra Professional Pigments palette. And I did number eight. I'll open it up for you and show you. This is what I use. It. I got this from Ulta last month. And I used that one. The darker one on my eyes. If you can see them. And that was that's all I did. And I took my fingers and did that. I was like, you know what? Whatever. And I took my fingers. I blended it out very prettily, pretty light. And I think that really did a decent job of that. And then for my blush, it's kind of a light hint of it. But I just used the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beach Stick in Las Salinas. And that's what it looks like. This is it swatched on the hand. I don't know if you can see very well. Yeah, like there. That's Las Salinas. It's very pretty. And you can just like, I used my Flower Beauty blush brush and I just took it and blended it out and I did that what Charlotte always says like do that you know, make your face and then go up to the hollows of the cheek yeah I did that that was good tips she always gives really good recommendations and tips so I love like listening to her little tutorials um she's a really smart makeup artist so I really like a lot of her products Next month, I'm thinking of trying this one product, though, that I saw somebody recommend on on YouTube. Michelle Wang. I think it's her name, Wang, Wang or Wang. Um, no, not Vera. Michelle. Michelle Wang. And she's an Asian woman. And she recommends these M Cosmetics Color Drop Serum Blush, little blushes. And she said they're very good. They're almost, you almost would be like, like painting with like a um, color, the little airbrush color type things. That's almost what it feels like. So I'm thinking of getting the pink nectar next month um, just to try and see if it's very, she said it's very natural and very like, it'll melt right, go right into your skin. And it'll just look like a pink thing of blush, like a hint of pink blush and she always looks so beautiful so why not try a recommendation by her and for my lips which is my final thing before my spray I just got recently um from cover girl the full spectrum cover girl matte idol um lip color and it's in 275 gains gagnant gagnant I don't know what, what it says in there, but that's what it looks like. Go foot applicator. I just put this on my lips. And, of course, I need something extra. So I used my, um, this is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And it's the Sweet Tooth um, lip, um, lip, pop, lip topper. I think it's Jeffrey. Yeah, this is Jeffrey because that's his logo. The star. His Jeffrey star. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you know what I mean. But this is what I just did. I went over it. It is such a glowy, glossy look. Like, I swear it can take any lipstick you have to the next level. And that is so beautiful. Like, I love this product. One thing I do have to say about his other, one of his stuff, though, is I got one of these, like, lip, one of his lip stuff. But it's been a while since, like, I had that for a long time. And I think that's why it went bad. But it's, like, dry now. 
So I'm going to have to get another one. It was the Dream House. And it was so beautiful. Like, it was my favorite pink, like, lipstick stuff I had. And now it's gone because it went bad. Because I think I had it for too long. But you know what? Eventually I'll get another one. This stuff is not that expensive. That's another thing I like about it. So I'm getting a watermelon gum lip scrub soon. So I'm happy. And then I spritzed my MAC Fix Plus. This is my favorite color. It's in pink light. And it just makes you look so pretty. Like, I love that part. And tonight I used my Juliet Has a Gun perfume for the first time. This was my... <clears throat> A sample from Sephora as well it smells so good like this is one of the samples that they let you choose if you want I'd spent a hundred points to get it and I'm not ashamed because it was good it's so good like, I love it and I'm gonna use this tonight because why not I didn't use it earlier but this is my X gloss buzzing lip gloss with pheromones and this is in lust and love Look at how much brighter it like makes my lips. And I love how it makes your like you feel. Like you feel that buzz, that high type thing. Mm-hmm. I think I still like the bubble gum better. I think there was at one point there was bubble gum, but it wasn't a gloss, it was just a lip. Um a lip balm or something it was from the same company this one I just got today and might, might try it because I got it at Dollar General and I had somebody compliment on my hair a couple people which yeah, is so nice like my hair. and they liked Isaac's hair Great. because Ooh. he was an oddity about it but they didn't I didn't have to say anything for them to say it to me so mm. <laughs> That's special to you. It's because I walked in and I was in my wig and my whole getup, so I always stick out. <laughs> Whenever you go out somewhere and you're like a little above the norm, you know, if you go out all dolled up, then expect people to look at you because they will. It's because you're different than everybody else, I guess. Yeah. It's but good to be different. I'm different. Whatever, people, just accept it. Yeah. This is the reason I got this, though, because. I usually don't get a lot of these because they're kind of cheaper, but this is chapstick, but it's in pumpkin pie, and I can't eat like a ton of that type of stuff because I'm trying to be on a decent diet, even though I have been kind of bad lately. I haven't been on my Dr. Bailey, okay? That's what te keeps me more mostly in check. That and my Sarah Vital to a degree, so. Back in the days, resolution 20 yeah, I used to have resolution 20. But I wanted to do a review on this. Doesn't really have a scent as much. It's kind of a simple one, but not really. But let's see what it tastes like, people. Well, a hint of cinnamon, I guess. Might be because I have too much lipstick on. <laughs> Can you get me a napkin or something, honey? I'll take my lipstick off. It's in the other area. You need to get some dinner. I'm going to be done with this soon. This is my last little thing, and then I can go eat my, my dinner. Yeah, it's time, so I have to eat soon, so I can take my Sarah Vital in a couple hours, so. I'll quickly take this off. Kind of wipe this off too in my hand. Okay. Bare lips. They're dry and bare and sad. Mm. 
I guess a hint of it. Not really. <laughs> it's not as good as the cherry ones. You want it? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm going back to my other thing. <laughs> yeah, if I have to. He'll like that one, I'm sure. I like things with a little more kick. I'm a man. I'm supposed to have some mild taste and stuff. Got some barbecue. Occasion. Hot spots. Because then you can lick them. Man. <laughs> That's what gets me all fired up. But that's how I got this beautiful look. It's natural, it's beautiful, and it worked for today. So, and I have to admit, I re you know, upon retrying the Is Clinical Honey Cleanser, um, I love it. Like, I do love it. You have to kind of get used to the honey, feel of honey almost type thing going on your skin, but I do. I think it's really grown on me, and it, I think... I think it has helped improve my skin as well and is good for makeup removing. I also love that Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil for makeup removal, which I will do tonight to remove my makeup because you always should. But yeah, um, it's really helped me. And tomorrow I'm going to do an unboxing for you of that, um, that skin thing I'm going to, skin device I'm getting. It comes tomorrow. I'm so excited because I've never tried LED light. Like I've never. Yeah, it's really good, and yeah, it's been approved by NASA. And a lot of people use it. A lot of people have different ones that they use, but this one's like a meta, almost a medical grade one. So I'm like really super stoked to like see what all the fuss is about and join in the whole. You know, this is going to be the skincare of the future. That's what it, people are saying about it. So, because, like, everything affects your skin. And people yeah, sit around. Like yeah. And we sit around cell phones or, you know, we use our cell phones all the time. We are uh, around TVs or, light yeah. And people don't un realize that that is actually doing stuff to your skin. So, like, light therapy is going to help you rebalance that out. And so, you know, if you are able to, get on the freaking bandwagon, bad people. Because, you know, I start, ever since I started doing more, caring about my skin more and doing more for my skin, I've noticed, like, a lot better feeling in my skin. And it feels a lot more soft and smooth. And I love the products I've been using to help my hyperpigmentation. This device is also going to help that too. And I just noticed a certain, only a certain spot around my certain areas is really the key areas that I have to do. And once that's done, and my little bits of acne tracing that actually now can be covered with makeup, which I'm so happy like, it's gotten to be that decent where I'm able to cover it. And that tells me that it's not, like, as textured. Like, the textured kind is way harder to cover. And, you know, it's it's painful. And I think the way I'm doing what I'm doing now, you know, acne can have textures oh, yeah. to it. Texture. So the ones that stick out the worst are the ones that, you know, that are harder to cover up cover up with makeup but if you can cover it up and it doesn't show as much then you know then you're on your way and I look at some of my videos from the past and I'm like wow you know at least from those times I'm doing better and it makes me happy because you should always strive to be the best you ever and skin is one of those things that I think everyone should just be able to have good skin and beautiful skin and 
that's what helps make people feel their most beautiful is when you you can go outside without makeup and still feel good and I used to always, I never had a problem with that because always I had dry skin and um I would only get little mild breakouts when I had my at my period and that was about it so um I never had re like really horrible acne ever so this is like this is because of me doing the birth control pills and Depo-Provera and other crappy psychiatric meds that can make you have acne issues and it changes your hormonal chemistry. So that's what that did to me. And ever since I've had residual stuff. So I'm actually getting trying to get rid of and correct something that shouldn't have even been a thing, but since it is, you know what? I'm gonna do whatever I can to just go back to my normal way. And I never get it really, really up here because that's dry. It's dry as heck. <laughs> and I like, you know, I have to use moisturizers because I have dry skin. So down here, it gets more of the bad part. So once I'm able to clear it all up, you know, except for my period, I'll just get used to that. But otherwise, she's good to go. And that's what my, that's my goal. You know, that's my whole desire. And once I'm able to do that and lose enough weight to really be decent, then I'll know I'm where I want to be. And, you know, I'm pretty close. I mean, I'm not really bad. I really want to get down to 105, though. That would be my dream goal. But my 110 is not too horrible. It's doable. <laughs> and that's only like seven or so pounds away. You know, that's pretty in, in sight. So it's always those last few pounds that are like the hardest, you know, because <laughs> your body's like, you know, I already lost that much for you. Just be happy that I lost that much. And you're like, well, I want a couple more. Can you help me out here? Greedy. And it's like, geez, you're a greedy little girl. And I'm like, yeah, I have to look the best, shoot. You know how many people are out there that probably look better than me? <clears throat> a lot. And I have to be, like, up there. <laughs> Remember the old saying Marilyn said? Uh, I'm kidding. No more jeans, only one Marilyn. But I'm going to be the best me possible, people. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think about everybody else. I just think about where I'm going, and I see that view. And I'm going there. So you best believe I will get there someday. And until then, though, I'll be here to talk to you and give you advice and help and take advice from other people, because I always do. And we can help each other out. So I hope that you're having a beautiful day, staying lovely. And if you ever feel the, mer the mood, just go with whatever you feel, you know, because that's what I believe. That's my motto. Like, if I feel in the mood to go do something, I do my little fun things. I just get in those moods, and I just want to do it. And, you know, I, I actually feel I'm doing better with my hormonals because I'm on my period right now. I know TMI. But I actually feel okay, you know. I don't hurt horribly, which is weird for me because I normally am so bad. <laughs> And I didn't even cry this time. Like, that's amazing to me. That is truly, truly amazing because I, I was like, no, but that was a while ago. But I mean, normally right around my period, I'm like a basket case. I wasn't bad this time. I'm doing better. I'm getting better in my own mind, you know, to handle things in a more like mature way. And... I just, I love that, and I hope that it keeps getting better each time. Now she needs to do is get some dindin on. Now I have to go eat some food. But I'm also back on my Cerevital, so that's probably what's helping me this month. So, I will let you go because I don't want to be too late taking my Cerevital. Because it sucks when I am. <laughs> but yeah. Hope you have a great night and stay happy and lovely. Mm -hmm.